I've been on a mission to catch a fish in all 50 U.S. states, and today I am here in Idaho with hopes of this being state number 13. But there are a few things that I want to do while I'm here in Idaho. First, number one, is buy a potato because that's the first thing I think of when I think of Idaho is a potato. So I want an authentic Idaho potato. And second, I want to try some authentic Idaho cuisine like the finger steak, ice cream potato, and huckleberry something. I, I don't know what the, any of these things are, but they sound appealing. So we're gonna give them a try. And the third and final thing I wanna do while I'm here in Idaho is just experience and explore all this beautiful state has to offer. So let's get started. To start off, I feel like there's only one right thing to do, and that is go to a store and find and purchase a famous Idaho potato. An authentic Idaho potato. I know it's authentically grown in Idaho because this store has a partnership with farmers. So this is directly from a farmer in Idaho with at least at least within 250 miles of this store. So it is a real Idaho potato. I mean, it looks like any other potato other than the fact that it's absolutely massive. There is one way to find out if it's any different, and that is the taste. But we're not going to cook it now. We're going to cook it later in this video. What we're going to do right now is go fishing. We're going to start off with fishing because this is probably going to be the most difficult task I have while I'm in Idaho. I don't, I don't think getting food is going to be very difficult. But anyways, we're at a reservoir over here, a Ned rig, because it's, it's, just, it's, it's the best bait. It's going to catch me a fish and hopefully we get one. There's bass, trout, bluegill. Yeah, that's all I know that's in here, but let's let, but let's give it a go. Oh, I hooked a tree. It was a great start. You guys didn't see that. Does a tree count as a fish? Oh my gosh, that's a fish, we got him. Come here, dude. It's a little bass. Oh my goodness. The Ned Rig gets it done. State number 13, that's what you like to see. Idaho is complete. He's a cute little guy right there. It's nothing big, but it's a fish. That's, that's all we needed to do. So now we're just gonna have some fun and catch some more, hopefully. Maybe a bigger one. There's another fish. He feels better. Come here, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a trout. What, on the Ned Rig? Well, you can definitely tell that's a stocked trout, um, I will say. <laughs> but we don't judge. Species number two here in Idaho. We are killing it. So after catching that rainbow trout, it made me wonder if there's any more trout in the area. And I picked up a bait earlier in the week called the trout magnet. And I was gonna put it to the test today and see if it could really magnify these trout. And within the first few casts, I caught pumpkin seed. It's not a trout, but Maybe it's a it's a sunfish magnet instead. We're gonna keep trying though. See if this bait actually catches trout. Now only a few casts after catching that pumpkin seed, I got hit again. There we go. Okay, we got him. There it is, there's the trout. The trout magnet, I guess it, it's legit. It caught a trout. My name is Jeff. I guess it magnifies the trout. And also whatever this is, it, he, he spit this thing up. I don't, I, it's, it's someone else's plastic. Beautiful little guy right there. I'll name him Fred. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess this thing really does magnify the trout. I am not gonna lie. After continuing to throw this trout magnet, magnifying every other fish but trout, I was working up quite the appetite catching all these fish. So I am very hungry. So that means it's, it's time for food. I'm just hungry. This restaurant has some nice cute little fall decorations, which I liked because I love the fall time. Anyways, I already knew what I wanted to order and I went ahead and got it right away. The finger steak with some huckleberry barbecue sauce on the side because I want to try that as well. Anyways, let's dig in. Now this looks really good and I love steak, so it's gotta be good, right? I think it's just like deep fried steak. Anyways, we're gonna try it without the sauce. Hold up, that's actually really good. Now with the huckleberry barbecue. Idaho, I think you're onto something here. We should share this with the rest of the US. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just good. That's all I got. I'm gonna absolutely devour this. That was really good. Really good. On my way to Walmart here, and I just caught one of the most beautiful sunsets of my entire life. After contemplating my entire life watching this sunset, it is now time to get all the ingredients I need to make an Idaho baked potato since the place that serves it is like eight hours away. So I wasn't about to drive there. So we're gonna make it ourselves. 
Got all the ingredients I need to make my own ice cream baked potato. And the sky is looking even more pretty right now. Just feeling extra blessed to be here right now. Praise God, dude. Praise God. Now it is time to make our ice cream baked potato. And the first step is to take vanilla ice cream, wrap it in saran wrap, kind of mold it into the shape of a potato and put it in the freezer for two hours. And now while we wait, I was gonna do some, some very hard work. I definitely wasn't just watching YouTube or anything like that. I, I was doing very important business stuff, okay? Now it's time to give the potato its look and we're gonna take this frozen piece of vanilla ice cream, roll it around in some cocoa powder, finish it off with some whipped cream as the sour cream, some pieces of licorice as the bacon bits and a yellow starburst as the butter. And now this is the final product, an ice cream baked potato. And this is what the finished product looked like. I am not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with the way this looks, but not everything's about looks. Let's see how it tastes. Honestly, it's kind of strange. The cocoa powder is very overpowering, but it is ice cream, so I, I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just vanilla ice cream. Anyways, it's a pretty cool and unique design. That's what I will say, so I'll give it to you. Whoa. So I'll give it to you, Idaho. I literally ate all that ice cream. I feel so sick right now, but it had to be done. Anyway, that checks off eating Idaho cuisine. Now all that's left is to experience the beauty of Idaho, but that's not happening tonight. It's gonna happen tonight. Time to do a hike out here in Idaho. I didn't really know this was like, uh, you know, part of Idaho. I didn't know they had anything other than like potatoes. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna get to see some of Idaho's pristine scenery. That's the goal anyway. So let's get to hiking and there's supposed to be a waterfall up here. So pretty stoked to see what that looks like. Beautiful waterfall right here. Absolutely amazing view. This is such a stunning spot, stunning river, but this is only the upper falls. There's a middle and lower. So we're gonna keep exploring and just go see what the rest of this place has to offer. But this is pretty beautiful. Love to see it. I just love exploring so much. I love adventuring, just seeing new places, seeing new things, and just taking in all of God's beautiful creation is just what I love to do and what my passion is and what drives me every day to just explore. So I encourage all of you to do the same. If you get an opportunity to go somewhere new, see something cool, Take it, you won't regret it. I promise you, you won't regret it. This waterfall right here is actually Idaho's tallest waterfall. So that's pretty cool that I get to witness that. Didn't know that, but this, this view right here is, it's absurd. Definitely taking in the views of Idaho that I didn't know existed until right now. Love to see it. long-awaited Idaho potato taste test and I have a website here called idahopotato.com and it says perfect basic baked potato so we're gonna follow that we just got to preheat the oven to 425 pierce the potato two or three times rub the potato with a little bit of oil and place on a cooking sheet and bake to 50 to 60 minutes after about one hour it was finally time to eat this famous 
Idaho potato, and I was so excited. The long-awaited Idaho baked potato. It, it's steaming. I, I'm probably gonna burn myself. That is probably the best baked potato I've ever had. I don't know if it's just the way I cooked it, because IdahoPotato.com knows what they're doing, or it's the actual fresh potato itself. It's probably a mix of both. Anyways, good job, Idaho. Good job. After eating the fresh Idaho baked potato, there's only one thing left we have to do for today's video, and I think you guys already know what that is. Let's go, state number 13, state number 13, up next, let's do a good job. Oh, can somebody come and save me? I just want to know, I want to know.